So I looked at the picture of the sandbag with your front door. Sandbag. Obstructing doorway or something like that, you know, door operations or something. I was like, are you kidding me? Did you put the letters on the exterior of your building? What letters? Did you put any address on the exterior? It's on the front of my building as per code, yes, sir. Okay. It was already there. What he's talking about is putting it on the back of your building. Right. Yes, that does not exist. Right. In order to do that, you have to modify the NFPA violation or NFPA book. Right. In order to do that, he has to submit paperwork to do that. And they gave you pictures of... Here, I'll show you. The rear, right? Mm -hmm. But if you got a picture in the front, show me you got an address in the front. Because you know what? My house... And my law office never had a freaking address have on the over the above door. You agree? He, he, up. Front. he made that rule up. By the way, he didn't have it on the back of his building either. Now, as a fire marshal, you can't update that, but there's paperwork you got to give and you got to submit paperwork. That's got to go to the, to the city council and they got to approve it. That's correct. And yes, it's correct. not the city council and the county commissioner's court. Correct. And there, there has to be a ding, ding, ding. It can't just be I'm making up rules as they go. No. And they have to, and, they don't, and the commissioner's court has. Oh, I'm glad I met you. Somebody can tell me. Uh, 1010 1.19 door operation. Nobody ever certified to serve me that citation. That is an okay. IPC code. The fire marshal is, is NFPA and IFC. But with that said, he's a moron, forgive my language, but you can have an access button to your door the same as you can for a wheelchair person ding, ding, ding. the door. And he, he, and right. he does not understand that. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you. But that's not a law or a rule. Right, but I'm just saying, that, that's the, like, one of the reasons behind that rule. Okay, so you, you gave me proof that you had a previous ticket for that. Oh, yeah. You won. Take all that stuff and talk to Sean with all that kind yep, of stuff. I'm sure of that. And then Sean and I can go through it, and then Sean says, this is a bucket of monkey shit. Ask Sean about the warrant, because he's a fire marshal, too. I know. He, the county fire marshal. I know. I wanted, I wanted somebody that was above the fray on all the bullshit that's happening here in Randy Pass. I wanted somebody... Did you read the, the yeah. fire department's affidavit? I read Where they, they don't need the fire... The not box. Signed by Chief Cobb. Well... <laughs> if you put one... Not required. Sure, go ahead. What's to say you gotta put something in it? Tell me to break the law. I don't care, you don't have to. So my issue is they're making everybody in town do it, and that's not what his code says. Okay. Okay. Put a note in there. <sighs> that's the idea. No, sir, don't agree. To say, <clears throat> break the window. I see what you're trying to say. I, I don't agree. Put, he put the he box. should be abiding by his own code. I understand. Put the box, but don't put a key in it. But you're manipulating it. This not I'm not manipulating anything. Yeah, the code doesn't say I have to have it at all, so why am I going to put a box up? I see what you're trying to do. But that's not what the law is. You put the box and it's empty. It's but I don't have to there. do that at all. So why aren't you on my side saying you don't no, do that? I'm just trying to understand the municipal code and stuff. I'm just trying to bring my dog And bring him to the county and stuff. Okay. 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 He knows I'm exempt from the law, wants me to put up a box anyway, just because, but then don't even put a key in there. What kind of guy is this? This is our prosecutor for San Pat County. Telling me basically, like, if I did have to put it up there, who cares? Just put it up there, but don't put anything in it. Who cares you break the law? What a crook. I'm trying to, I'm trying to split hairs to say, okay, well, you put one up, and then I'll dismiss the case, and then I didn't hear him say that. Oh, yes, I did hear you say that. So you want me to do what exactly? You want me to bend the knee. Just do whatever they tell me to do and just go. They'll just go away. Just bend the knee. No, sir. This is America. Jason follow up for mayor 2023. And I will not be bending the knee to any of you scumbags. I will be blasting y'all and putting y'all on all kinds of social platforms so that our society knows what kind of crooks you are. Picture. That would be against my principles. The compliance and he's done. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I read. Let you a question. What, okay. what is the picture of the pallets about if there's no citation? The picture of the pallets. Well, it's, it's more than just a picture of the pallets. What is, 
doesn't establish probable cause. What? So. There's no citation for the problem. There's no citation for the ballot. And there's no code violation for the ballot. So tell me what the picture is. Well, see, that's what my expert's going to tell me. Okay. Okay, right there he says that's what his expert's going to tell him. But watch what he does to me later on. Is that accurate? Well. They didn't even write a citation for it. They have a... Uh, no, sir. There's no citation for the ballot. He didn't read everything I told him to do. He's just doing whatever these scumbags want him to do. He doesn't care about society, doesn't care about us, just wants to push off their agenda. This guy's a scumbag just like the rest of them. It's not on there. It was a my point. I do. You know, I see my point. Hmm. Curious. So if there's no, if not box, it shouldn't be on there. If the pallets weren't written up as a citation, there is no probable cause. That's not necessarily so, because you can have probable cause, you can use that to establish probable cause. What can you use? What probable cause? They can use anything they want. They don't have anything. All they have is a pallet, which is written up, and they have a knock box, which I'm existing. So what is their probable cause? That's what you have. I'm asking you. I mean, we're talking. You're right in front of me. You're the one that has to prosecute. So what leg do you have to stand on if there's no pallet, no pallet issue, and there's no knock box? But I think there's a pallet issue. There's not. <laughs> he thinks there's a pallet issue. Pallet was not cited because there is no citable offense. It's under the rubbish code, and you can look it up. But basically, if my pallets were in the alleyway, yes, he could cite me. My pallets were against my wall, actually behind my dumpster. With that said, the dumpster, by his language, would be probable cause. So everybody that has a dumpster in town, I mean, that's in your alleyway, I guess. That's the way this guy's trying to sum it up, moron. Not even a but the pallet is not a citation. What citation is it written under? It's not there because it's rubbish. He's talking about trash and stuff in the alleyway. That's not my alleyway. So I'm asking you again, what's the probable cause? Deflect. They, you told me last time we met you were very honorable and if somebody was doing wrong, you would do wrong. They set it out in their... They did not. Oh, yes, they did, and that's not the code. Okay. Even their code enforcement officer agrees with me, the one that's my witness. Well, then that's the guy that you get in. Well, I'm, but I'm talking to you. You're the one that has to prosecute, right? So if you agree with me, why are we even going to court? To waste my money. That's the problem cause of that. Uh, no, I This is the code. You get a copy of that. I have that. 1427 rubbish code. And we've already talked about it. They didn't cite it because I was right. Correct. Okay. You're not the man I thought you were, sir. Oh. No, I'm, I'm done. You just write up what you got to write, and I'll see you in court. I want to go to court full stop with you. He didn't read it. He's full of crap. He did read the knockbox, though. Watch this come up in a minute. Why do you have to? You just told me to look at the code, sir. You did not look at that code. You did not. You just told me you did. That's not a fire code. That's your issue. It's not a fire code. Which code are we talking about? This is a city code, rubbish code. Did you look at it or not? I did not look at the rubbish code. You're wasting my time. No, no. Didn't look at it. I told him two weeks ago there was no probable cause for this. He was supposed to get uh, the Sam Pat Fire Marshal look at it and determine if there was probable cause. He never did what he was supposed to do because this is a charade. This is shenanigans. They're just blowing smoke up my butt and wasting my money. Period. Your reasoning last week, you said you were honorable. If cops were corrupt, we'd fix stuff. But I'm telling you right now, you didn't. I would look at it. But you didn't. You didn't even look at that code. Mm -mm. <laughs> There's only two codes for probable cause on here, two. You didn't have time to look at two codes. I looked at the fire code. You told me you looked at the knock box code. I looked at, I looked at the knock box. I okay. looked at all the stuff. Before we met, I looked at all the stuff. Here we go. I didn't have this until just two days ago. He's lying. He did, because we talked about it last time. Answer. And I sent him a copy. for all my data, I sent right. you that. And I didn't have this. I did not have this. Okay. Liar. I got this the other day. Okay. I got an email to me, and I got a copy of this from Arizona. Trial by jury. I'm not going to judge. Okay. I don't trust you anymore. Well, it's not really trust me. It's just... It is. 
because when I talked to you last time, you talked like you're an honorable man, so I gave you the benefit of doubt for your trust, but now I do not trust you. Talk like Chief Kelly did when I first talked to Chief Kelly. I'm an honorable man, and I'm here for the Constitution. If something's wrong, we'll throw it all out. Bad cops are there. Well, they need to go. Not true, because they're all corrupt pieces of scumbags. <laughs> oh, my God, these people. I'm crazy. Let's write this down for the judge. I don't want to. I'd rather just go to court trial by jury. Yeah. I gave you the opportunity to be an honest man. You didn't even read the codes. I'm very offended. I thought I you were, and I, I did not, sir. I did read the rubbish code. No problem. Let me ask you about the you knock. Let me ask you about the knock box. You have it on here? Let me. He just said a minute ago he didn't read the rubbish code. Now he's saying he read it, but he has no clue. He doesn't know. I busted him. He's a liar. And this is for all y'all to see. This guy's a scumbag, and I hope it gets to his boss. His boss better not be corrupt. His boss better do something about this and fire this scumbag. Ask about the knock box that you read. I do. The knock box. Let's look at the rubbish code. The knock box that you read. What does it say? How am I exempt? Because ding, ding. you're an old building, and the building existed before the Knox box resolution okay, took an effect. Okay, fair. So you're out of the Knox box. So, so all I have is this rubber stick. No knock box, guys. You hear that? Everybody in town putting up knock boxes. If it's a, uh, if it's only up for new construction, or if it's got a suppression system, guys, they screwed me. They're screwing a lot of people in town, making you pay $800 for these, and you're not supposed to. Time to stand up and fight these criminals, guys. This is your city prosecutor. Just admitted they did me wrong. Violence against my wall does not restrict access to the alleyway. Correct. No violation. Well, it's not just about restriction. It no, is. no, it is. That's the grass. <laughs> Ten inches is for grass and accumulation of trash, not a pallet. So FYI, this code is used to keep out rodents, right? They want your grass trim. They want the trash and debris moved out of the alleyways so you don't collect rodents. <laughs> pallets, new pallets, mind you, three of them are not rubbish. Even if they were, they would have to be in the alleyway restricting access or stacked higher than six feet, according to IBC code. <sighs> You're in line, and y'all saw the other video feed. He dismissed a plethora of citations. And he just admitted Knox box. <laughs> Couldn't be cited. So that's another one that needs to be thrown out. Two things. Yeah, that's interesting. Two. Knock box he admitted was wrong. Said he did me wrong. He admitted. Two is the pallet rubbish code. Pallets against the wall again are not against code violation. He knows that. I know that. He has no foundation. He just wants to waste my time and money. Well, don't dismiss that one until you talk to him. <laughs> Taste of his own medicine. He's a hypocrite and a liar. But you haven't talked to him, so why are you dismissing that one but not the other one? Because I just didn't know two freaking eyes. So the other one you did too. The other one you did too. We talked about. I even showed you the video of the guy opening the door. You saw it too, and you said you were throwing it out. Now you're not. This is that's Chief Kelly opening the door and closing the door, and Chief Kelly lying and saying the door was restricted and it wasn't because I caught him on video. That's right, Chief Kelly. I caught you on video lying and manipulating. Why? Because I stood up for my Fourth Amendments and you tried punishing me for it. Now this guy is having your back and pretending like he never saw the video, even though he did last time we talked, and said what you did was wrong. Why I do not like you. You're hypocritical. Oh, I showed you on my phone. And you agreed. You said they're sandbags and you opened them right up. And you said it was bullshit. Oh, because... But now all of a sudden only this one is because you got an accident expert. No. You're wishy-washy, just like these people. I gotta go by and make sure the sandbags are gone. 
Sandbags can stay there. I'll go put them back right there because you said that. I'll put them back out there. You're no, the sandbags are not a citable offense. I'll go put them back there right now, take you over there, and you can go ahead and try to cite me, and I'll see you in court, buddy. I'm tired of y'all being liars, manipulators, and using your abuse of power to push down us citizens of the United States of America. Oh, well, there you go, guys. You've got uh, James Garner. He is the assistant attorney for San Patricio County, uh, going after me simply because they told him to. He is a scumbag. He is thinking he is above the law, and they're not. I will keep blasting these guys, keep recording these guys, and tell you all the truth. It's time to get rid of all of them. Like, how deep does this go? Anyway, that's Sam Pat. Make sure y'all give his boss a call and tell him about all the BS he was talking about in Aransas Pass and all the lies he put on this audio and went back and forth and basically prosecuting me just because. He has no foundation. They're doing this on purpose to waste money and to push it up past the election. That way they can keep me labeled a criminal. Again, Jason Falwell going for mayor 2023, and I will be transparent and get rid of this corruption all the way.